Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver here on a 2021 Buick Encore. So this is what our trailer hitch is going to look like installed on our vehicle here. Now it does sit behind the bumper a couple inches or so, so you're not going to have any issues with banging your shins on that. And it's really kind of hard to tell the trailer hitch is even there until you look a little bit closer. Now it does have a black powder coated finish, so it's going to help the, protect the hitch from rust and corrosion over time, being that it is on the underside of the vehicle. So adding a trailer hitch to your Encore is going to be an excellent option because it's going to make your vehicle that much more versatile. Now, in addition to towing, we could also use the trailer hitch if we wanted to hit some trails or just simply free up some space inside the vehicle for us and the family on those long road trips. We could easily attach either a hitch mounted bike rack or hitch mounted cargo carrier. Now, the opening size of this hitch is the smaller one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch, which is still plenty versatile. You just need to make sure you make note of this when you're selecting those accessories like bike racks and cargo carriers, because there's going to be some for the two inch and some for the one and a quarter inch. You need to make sure that the ones you get is compatible with the one and a quarter. On the side of our receiver tube, we're going to have our half inch diameter hitch pin hole. It's going to work great with your hitch pin and clip. Now, keep in mind, the hitch pin and clip doesn't actually come with a trailer hitch. And the reason for that is a lot of your aftermarket accessories like bike racks and cargo carriers are going to come with their own. So you shouldn't need to worry about picking this up separately, but if you do need one, we have plenty of options here at eTrailer, including some locking ones. And then on the bottom of our receiver tube, we're going to have our safety chain loops. Those are going to work great with both the larger Clevis style as well as the smaller S-type hooks. Now in regards to installation, this hitch is pretty easy to install. It's pretty straightforward. There's no modifying whatsoever. So this is definitely something I think a lot of you guys can do by yourself at home in your driveway. You don't need to lift the vehicle up in the air and you don't need any specialized tools. Now you will need a torque wrench, but if you don't have one of these, you can actually rent them for free from most local auto parts stores. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the installation now so we can show you how easy it is to do at home by yourself. The first step of our installation is underneath our vehicle here. We actually need to lower an exhaust hanger from either side of our muffler, but before we do that, we want to take some sort of support device. Since we're working in the air, we're going to be using a cam buckle strap. If you guys are on the ground, just use a jack stain or a couple blocks of wood. I'm just going to hook it to two points on our frame here. That way we can provide some support. We break the hangers free and we're not damaging our exhaust. So here's what one of our hangers looks like. And again, we have one on either side. Now, in order to assist with removing them from the rubber isolator, we're gonna be spraying them down with a spray lubricant. So now we're gonna use a combination of an exhaust hanger removal tool or a pry bar to remove that metal hanger from the rubber isolator. Now, chances are you don't have a specialized exhaust hanger removal tool, and I understand that, which is why you can use a pry bar. It works just as well. But we've got one side broke free. We're going to go ahead and do that on the other side as well. So now we're going to take a piece of fish wire here that comes in your kit. I'm going to just bend it slightly. I'm going to stick the cold end through the hole that we want the bolt to come through. And I'm going to fish it out our access hole. So this is where bending the wire is going to help you because it's going to make it a lot easier to come out the access hole there. You're not going to be fighting it near as much. There we go. Now I'm going to place the spacer block over the coiled end and then thread on our carriage bolt. Then I'll shove these back into the frame here. pull it down through the hole just like so. So we've got one side done. We're going to do that on the other side. It's the exact same process. Next, we're going to be looking on the side of our frame rail for our side attachment holes. Now, these may be either an empty hole or they may have a weld nut in there. And that's what we're trying to determine. If it's an empty hole, you're going to have to fish wire some hardware into the frame using the steps that we just showed you. But if it's actually a weld nut, we're going to be using the hex bolts that come in your kit. So you have two different kinds of hardware depending on what are in these holes. And the holes are actually going to be in this area here. So if we just reach up there, because it is kind of hard to see, I'm just going to reach up there. I can feel the two holes there. And if I stick my finger in there, I can see that they're threaded, or I can feel that they're threaded rather. So we're going to go ahead and use our hex bolts for this step of the installation. But again, if you don't have these, you're going to have to fish wire your hardware into the frame. Now keep in mind, there are two different types of hex bolts that come in your kit here. These are going to be used to secure the side plates of the hitch. 
So you can see if you look very closely that one of these has more of a space threading, uh, so more of a coarse thread, whereas this is more of a fine thread. There's not as much space between the threads. The ones on the sides we're going to be using and securing to the weld nuts on the vehicle, we need to make sure we're using the coarse threaded bolts. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise our hitch up into position. You do want to go over the passenger side first because of the tailpipe. And now that we have all of our fasteners in place, we're going to come back with a 19 millimeter socket and snug everything down. And now that we have all of our fasteners snug, we'll come back with our torque wrench here and torque everything down the spec. And then that's going to do it today for our look and installation of the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver here on a 2021 Buick Encore.